But I mean, these days, women want to pay the bill as men, as, 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 I mean, share the bill. Then that's, a, okay, that's another <laughs> interesting one. The woman tells me she wants to pay the bill. When yes. I asked you to come out with me, yes. I won't let you. Why not? Because it's in my psyche that I am the one who... who asked you out. Yes. So you won't, out, you won't go out with her if you don't have any money no, and she can pay, her. and she can pay. What if no, she no, can listen, pay? If, if he knows that I don't have the money and she says she, I can pay from that point of view... Yeah. If she invites you out for lunch, yeah, that, that's pay? fine, that's fine. Maybe he's too old, you should be asking your no, son. No, no, listen, so that if, is fine. If, if a woman, can a woman propose to a man? Some of yes, them are doing so these days. They're doing that these days. And I have seen, well, I was once proposed to, you know. <laughs> But you didn't accept the proposal. <laughs> well, I'm not sure whether it was about accepting or not accepting. I, was just, I just went home and thought about it. <laughs> and I said, maybe my people will not accept it, but... But, but I think it's, a, it's an attitude There's nothing really thing. wrong with yeah. that. It's, it's an attitude thing. Mm -hmm. And it's a chip on the shoulder about who has what role. But I think what society is teaching us these days is that there are some role reversals. And that perhaps it shouldn't be about this is a designated role, but about who can do what best. There are men who are excellent cooks. Why can't they cook in the house if they cook better than their wives? No, no. Why, why would it be an issue that, oh, no, it's not? And, and the best chefs in the world are men. So, so why would it be an issue that they're the ones who, 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 are, who cook at home? There's someone who says, my husband cooks, cooks better than me, so he cooks at home. Okay, and there's no ask, issue let there. Let me ask one question, which is very important, right? Can women empowerment be taken too far? And when, if, it, if yes, when? Honestly, I think it, it can be taken too far. Mm -hmm. For example, who is determining this empowerment we're talking about? And really, what's the reason for the so-called empowerment? If we're looking at a home that is move, growing together, mm -hmm. everybody's responsibility is taken seriously, there will be no need for that empowerment. Look, Nigeria and US, there are more women in, 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 in authority in Nigeria than in the US. How are you aware? That? Yeah. But it is true. And yet, we keep telling ourselves, we don't give women a chance, we don't give women a chance, we're not gender sensitive. That's not true. The rule of law is not allowed to prevail, that is what is the problem. And so, yes, you made a point that some women are more responsible towards leadership and the, the roles. Fine, I agree with that. So are some good men. But more men have been more corrupt than women. But there are corrupt women. No, but the thing is, what is empowerment in the first instance? I think the point of empowerment is to say that a woman can be whoever she wants to be Without in anybody. terms of achieving her life's potential. And but there are so she, many women. Many women are not allowed to be, is the point. When you are, it's easy to sit, and because you, because and again, that women. word, allow, because you allow your wife, why is it allow? Why is it allowed? Why can't it be that she has the capability and she wants to do it and she, she has a conversation with you and she does it? Why does it be that she, why, why is it that she needs your permission to do it? Why can't it be your, your blessing to do it? She needs your no. blessing to do uh, it. No. That is... no, that's a, it's a contentious argument, really. Do you know why? Again, it depends on who is de debating this issue with his or her husband. So we're talking about the home now. I just the think home, it shouldn't yes. be threatening. I just think that men shouldn't feel threatened if women want to do things. I think that's at the, at the, at the bottom of it all. I think they should just allow, because the world is for men and you're women. Saying you're using the word allow yourself. No, no, I'm using it because it's the word that descri that's, 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 what, that's the word that's used mm -hmm. and that it describes what it is I'm talking about. I think, and when I say allow, I think it should be, it should, we should allow, not that men should be allowed or men should allow women. It should be allowed in the, in the sense of the English language. It should be allowed that a woman can be who she wants to be How and fulfill her own. In the home? You know, you keep saying the home. It's yeah. not always in the home. The home is a springboard. No, of no, this but, whole it, but you see, not, not wait. Not all women are married, and not all men are married. But men yeah. and women interact, even in the workplace, yes. even socially. And these issues are there, even socially, where they're not dating. Because there's a sense of, the, I'm the man, I have to do this. I'm just saying that if people will just think, first of all, of each other as human beings, and then define the roles as the roles arise within the home. So that if, for example, you're the one who can drive, your husband can drive, you can drive, you drive many, and take the children. Such cases. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. uh, so do that. If, if you're the one, and at particular points in time in marriages anyway, sometimes it's the woman who has more money. And sometimes it's the man who has more money. Why is this an issue who has? 
When the man has more money, the woman is not complaining. Why would it be a complaint if the woman has more? And you say it's a home, and you say, so well, you're one a, family. You, so you said it right, it's a function of attitude. It is attitude. So at the end of the day, it's whether the woman has the right attitude to it or not. And the man, whether he has the right attitude to it as well, both, it's both, both sides. sides. Both sides. Both sides. Yes. Both sides. Because again, which is why I keep saying the home. The understanding that I have a responsibility in the home, mm -hmm. in my place of work, and how I deal with others is very important. Is it, it, why, is, why is it important? Have I mean, you raised a son and a daughter? Did you raise them differently? No, together. But in, that, in other words, who goes were, to the were, kitchen were, and who plays football? Oh, no, no. I mean, OK, when they were very young, <laughs> that's a good one. When they were very young, they developed their interests in the kind of sports, for example, that they, they adopted. Uh -huh. You know, they were both playing tennis before. So you wouldn't feel odd if your son was going to cook and not your daughter? I would have been surprised if he didn't show any interest in cooking because he lived alone abroad for so many <laughs> years. And yes, I mean, the same thing with my daughter. But the thing is, he, more than my daughter, may be more inclined towards cooking. And you have no problem with that? No. They're not complaining. Their spouses or their friends or their fiancés are not complaining. So if, if, Omar, I think if Omar has hit the nail on the head, what would you say is the best way to deal with Do we agree, though, that our women empowerment can emasculate men. It can. No, no, of course it's it can. definitely and, has and, to. and it is doing so. But I think that's also because of the perception people have of what women's empowerment is. Just. So what are we saying finally? We're saying, and I want to say this clearly, the men just need to open up. The women should just slow down and not shake over as if they yeah, they should chill. <laughs> do you feel the because same way too? I do. I think that balance is required on both balance. sides. And tolerance and, and an attitude change. It's not a struggle, it's not a competition. We're working together in the same world. In the middle class. I don't know whether it's, it's in the high class or in low class area. You the guys middle, middle class, class is the engine room of any it's communal survivalism. And whether we like it or not, if that middle class is not there, nothing exists. That's where the values of society reside, yes. in the middle class. When you talk about the estimation of the right thinking members of the society. That's where they are. That's where they are. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on the show. I don't know whether we thrashed it as, as well as we should, but again, what we're saying is that keep a balance. That's what the former says. And men be bigger than that title, men, and be open to learn more. Thank you for being on Seriously Speaking. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week.